What is up, everybody? Do Comedy Podcast episode number 222. I don't know, maybe uh, the font, I believe, was 221. So that would technically, if you want to get technical, would make this. Sounds like some technical difficulties, if you ask me. That would make this. It doesn't even fucking say when I click on it. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't want to say. What's, some technical what's it? Oh, two. Okay, so this is episode 222. My name is Kyle. This is Colby. It's a, if you haven't tuned in for a while, it's a different look around here. Old fucking Jimmy boy is gone. And we get, I mean, legitimate excuse. He did hold on for a while. We did accuse him of scamming us. Apparently, that was a scam. So we scammed him by saying that he was scamming us. Um, apparently, oh, it was just a massive network that was going in and hand placing ads because who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck what we want to do? How do they know that we didn't want to put ads on people? You know, how the fuck do they know? So they just do their own thing. You know, we're asses and they're sticking our dicks, their dicks so far in our gaping tight holes that we are yep. finger fucked. Um, Burns on the other hand, um, he put up a pretty big fight to, um, entertain you guys. Um, and, uh, he said... We recording today? That was that's literally been his only response for the last that's, uh, five shows. So the ones he missed, his response after just completely going a wall, not even giving us an excuse, is just saying we recording today, and then nothing else. No, like, hey man, I'm gonna fight for this. Shows you what he felt about the show the whole time. And this honestly, we're, Capri Sun. I feel like we're bringing the passion, and I'm gonna be completely transparent. I need to get the fuck out of this office and set up my um, podcast stuff in my other office because I already told you I'd commit right now to doing it, recording it live there. A well, podcast not, room? Not, not recording it live, like on Twitch. Doing it in but person, like, yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah, put your camera. Because if yeah. we set your camera up through OBS, I mean, we would get the HD and then I can sync the audio super easy. Oh, no, it would be it would be absolutely simple. We've done it before. And, and I think, so if, if you're unfamiliar for Beersy, I, had, I got an office space that's an upstairs and uh, the total cost of our upstairs office space after uh, um, internet and everything is like 1100 1200 bucks. If I want to take the whole damn office, 2600 bucks. But I also know, like, I have some people that are interested, like Drew is interested in office space. Not that I, you know, would need it, but I'm like, well, okay, you know, maybe he could take three, 400 bucks and take a room, you know, and so it really cuts into the cost if that's what I felt I needed to do. But we would run the podcast out of this upstairs because taking, dude, I fucking took like 10 boxes upstairs. I'm like, nah, we're done yeah. doing this shit. But I, then I saw the dude, my, the, you know, my landlord at Safeway, and I was like, hey, I'm thinking about taking over the whole office. He's like, if you want to take it over, I'll be out tomorrow. And I'm like, fuck, dude. So it's easy. We could really turn things up um, in person wise. Um, doing the podcast in person. Um, well, we've always said it's some of our better shows have been ones where like the hardest part for doing the show like over this is you interrupt people a lot without realizing it. Like you don't, oh, yeah. like, you don't, you don't try to, it's, it's very easy to cut somebody off or like if you have a train of thought and you want to get it in there, like the communication that you've had your whole life of, you know, like, Hey, I'm, I'm talking and watching somebody's mouth move or like listening to somebody's mouth move and stuff. And then waiting for the social cues to pause. It's all different when you're recording over the internet. Oh yeah, for sure. There's lag. There's just like, you know, and, and I feel like too, we get more engaged and into it when you're going back and forth with somebody because you're getting like, it's not like a drawn out have to do thing. Not that, that I'm saying that this is, but it feel like having to sit in front of your computer and talk to somebody is a lot different than yeah. It, and it's just like like yesterday like i, I was at the office from nine o'clock to four thirty o'clock to four thirty four thirty o'clock yeah that's right that's, it is isn't now. that weird that you don't say like a clock with four thirty? there's a sheep one that i heard the other day with it's like two sheep wait it's not sheeps though it's still sheep but then there's two sheep but then if it's two other animals it was something weird where i was like you never but think if you about say it, it as a collective you know you say sheeps yeah so like exactly sheeps but it's wild. not two sheeps yeah but then there's another one too where it's like the same situation of one to two but it completely opposite rules yeah you know i'm, I'm not like getting it's just like if i had my stuff set up at the office while i'm there then it's nothing and i'm just like all right i'm just taking a break from work but like it's it's i'm in a it's it's just way different for me now like when we start like the whole time we've been doing the podcast like I thought I was working on other things, but I literally wasn't. I literally was just like posting up and being a 
more hype man version of, of Burns. But now that, you know, now this is kind of, I've never ran like a legit business and I only have one fucking employee and things are pretty wild. So, but if I had everything set up there, we would have been, we would have done the show yesterday. I wonder <laughs> if, oh, and also if you're watching this on YouTube and you're missing an episode in your queue, Ken and I did an episode that should be up today too. We don't have the password. Well, I used to have the password saved. Then I used to, if I didn't, if it wouldn't come up, I would go to the group chat and I would type in what I thought the password was in search ish, grab it, copy, paste it. Uh, we don't have that group text anymore. So oh, you left it as well. Yeah. I left it when you did. <laughs> oh Spiciness. man, this is fucking great. Uh, oh, dude, we could set up like, uh, we could just, uh, get a couple, like even just Craigslist, like couches, you know, and put those up in the corner and then put like just a small coffee table and then run my mics. Uh, I think that like would be desk. awesome, but I don't think we, I think we can just get a regular couch. <laughs> get, get one well, I just mean like, I just mean like they're free. You can just yeah. can get some free ones, add some, uh, add some character to it. Just yeah. some run. Down. Just, I want like an old school green run down piece of shit. But, leather couch. Yeah, but it's like a, it's a pretty cool little hangout spot. You know, we can, you know, do whatever we got to do the whole place. I mean, you've been in there. It's pretty large. You have been, in, you probably might not remember it that well, but no, I remember. I remember, especially when I walked upstairs and looked down. I'm like, "Dang, this is pretty big." Yeah. So you could even have that one room that's ground level too. The whole I can take the whole thing. So either I can take the absolute whole thing, or, or leave him that one room, or I can take the whole downstairs and the girl can move upstairs, or I can just take the whole top stairs and the big room downstairs. I can do whatever the hell I want. But if we're gonna do the podcast in there, I I would take over the whole spot because i don't want them in there while we're talking about fucking fat drippy pussies and stuff you know yeah it's always a a weird epidem epidemic yeah. when you're like yeah uh speaking of that um movie uh the three front here hold on one second one second three fronts or whatever i started watching it. don't tell me though because i'm in the middle of it but okay if- i won't tell you anything i was just gonna tell I, I won't spoil anything, but I w- what are your thoughts so far halfway through? It's corny. Like the, okay. you would think Sorry. those dudes had like, like it just like it's, I, so I kind of see what's going on. I pretty much ended at the part where they, um, you know, they I find, if you're going to be the same spot where I left off well, and then just finished it. Last they night. found all the money. Then they, I kind of fell asleep when they're like, it wasn't just his money. Dun, dun, dun. So now I'm sure all these fucking organizations are going to come and attack or like there's some like weird thing that it's like, Oh, it's the U S money, you know, or like something along those lines. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I'm just going to say what you probably have already agreed with, with that cast of characters. For those people who don't know what this movie is, it's got Ben Affleck, Jax Teller, the dude from Friday night lights, the The dude from star Wars. Yeah. Like big actors are in this movie, like Jax Teller to get him to do that movie was probably super expensive. Well, and then the dude from the uh, dude from game of Thrones, that's the other dude. Oh, he's from game of Thrones. Uh, he's the member. He's like the, like the Italian dude who gets killed by the mountain. He gets his head exploded by the mountain. Yeah, you're right. Cause he was fucking around with him. The, uh, the movie no spoilers again, but letdown wise for like how many good actors it was. I was watching it and it's corny. It's very corny. Yeah. But anyway, that's not the main part of my thing. So then I, I have two shows that I watch live ish, which is just through Hulu, you know? Uh, one of them's a comedy, one of them's like this corny uh, drama crime show called Good Girls. It's actually pretty good. It's like three stay at home moms who are like working with the cartel now. Anyway, so. I just, want, I just want to gripe about something here that Hulu did to me gripe last away. night. Very upsetting. So I'm a big, I won't watch something if I have seen a spoiler or seen anything on it just because it's, I, I know I can't get it out of my head. Like it's ruined for me. So I watched my first show. I'm a, not even, I'm not even in like a week behind. I'm 13 or 14 minutes behind when this new episode is now posted on Hulu for me to watch it. And as the show ends... Hulu's dumb, 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 dumbness, or maybe it's NBC, whoever's in charge of this. They run, to me, an ad for the next episode of the show I haven't watched yet. So I immediately was just like, well, okay, I'm going to give this a try. And it's like, you can't watch something for 44 minutes when you know, like, I, I, I just was so upset. Yeah. 
And I tried to watch it, and I'm like, I know that this is – I've already seen previews of what's going to happen next week. Like, I don't need to watch this. Very upsetting, Hulu or ABC, whoever did that. Those motherfucks. That's like ESPN, though. You see ESPN dropped the women's bracket a whole day before, and they were like, oops, our bad. <laughs> Nobody cares, though. Yeah, the only people who cared were people on Twitter. Yeah, I went on a wild snow adventure. It's pretty oh, fun. So here, tell everybody about that. Took a trip to Old Island Park, Idaho, for the first ever. Because every every summer they do a climb, cow tag, run. So you basically are given coordinates and you go ride your dirt bike to these tags. Uh, but for this one, it was the first ever snow bike one. So you you basically get your coordinates. You which so we were gonna put all so the, at the coordinates there's a flag and then there's a number on this tag that you write down. And it's worth a certain amount of points, and those points get you a certain amount of raffle tickets. And then, um, and then, um, then you see if you win the raffle, which the raffle is fucking retarded, dude. There were 150 people there. Lots of people didn't even get all of them. There were five or six people that won twice. So you basically, there's a, for every prize, there's a box. So you can put like, you know, 10 raffle tickets in that box to win that particular prize. So when they mix them up, they didn't even, like, they just shook it, but it's a small box. So everything's going to stay at the top. They didn't fucking raffle it around or anything. So the technique for next year will to be to put your shit in last. So you didn't win anything? No, but five or six people won twice. That's annoying. Yeah. But so, man, it was pretty strenuous riding. Like, you just, so you have to have a, some form of GPS and basically... You have to find these coordinates or at least like the area of it. We're going to do it by hand on a phone. Oh, my God. It would have been a fucking nightmare because you have to like pull out your phone, look for it. I mean, it's like you need something while you're riding to look at. So we bought these trail tech things. And so it actually gives you like a straight aerial shot to the flag, you know. So it would have been a like imagine having to stop and look at the phone, like your phone and take it out of your pocket. Because like. Cause like you don't take a straight line to it. Like sometimes you're like, oh, these trees are too thick. We got to go around, or there's a road. We got to go around. Like it would have been a fucking nightmare to attempt to do it without one of these trail tech things. But I mean, it, it was fun. Lots of, I mean, snow bike riders and and just snowmobilers in general are a different breed. Um, it's just not really dudes I'd hang out with. But I mean, it was fun. We met a dude uh, who parked next to us who came by himself. So we just ended up riding with him and. Um, we found all the tags. There was like 28 of them, and it like I was fucking dead. I mean, yeah. some of the spots you're going like you know straight downhill. I mean, it was it was crazy, but definitely gonna do it every single year. And uh, but it was bullshit. So they did the 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 giveaway for stuff like the 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 uh, drawings, and then a climb representative was like, it's like okay, so we're gonna give away a climb helmet. Like all you gotta do is post on. Post on Instagram using at you gotta put at climb and hashtag frozen frozen cow tag and whoever gets the most engagement wins. Huh. Oh, yeah, so, you're- so I posted it. They haven't announced a winner or anything. I should easily fucking win. I have twelve hundred yeah, likes on there. I have more. Every, so lots of people posted like videos and other pictures with like thirty likes and some videos have like you know four hundred views, but. I got fucking 1,200, 1,300 likes on a picture. Do you think they just hit me up to win? No. It's bullshit. It sounds like one of those classic... Uh, the new thing on Instagram, on stories, is someone will be like showing something, showing something, showing something. So let's just use like a food guy for uh, an example. He's like showing this part of his food, showing that part, showing that part. And then like in the middle of showing it, he'll be like, hey guys, make sure you go check out my new post. I just posted it. Uh, I'm going to be following three people who go and leave the funniest comment about what I just posted and what I'm eating. And then it goes back to like him doing it. And then you go look at the post and then there's dumbass people who are like, Oh my gosh, those are spicy looking chicken wings. Tag three friends. Like what? Oh my, that's like the new thing. dude. Or just like people like Jimmy that are like, I woke up in a good mood today. I'm going to follow some people. I'm just like, that's a, that's a, always a weird one for me because I, like, if I would rather unfollow people. Yeah, well, he doesn't. I woke up, I woke up in a good mood. He doesn't stay unfollowed. following those people. But it, I get. It's like a technique they tell you to do. People get excited about. It. They're like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Follow me. Look at my posts about nothing." 
you know, but whatever, man. I'm just bitter. I'm a dick. The people that used to do that a lot of the times were like uh, <clears throat> when the like Justin Bieber was blowing up. It'd be like followed by Justin Bieber's mom, like fan accounts and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, whatever. it is crazy though. Like some of those fan accounts, like my when my sister was like 13 years old, she ran a fan account that would get more engagement than like anything I've ever seen at that time in my life. And she's just like, oh yeah, I got all these people who are going to concerts and they're sending me, they're sending me like exclusive videos and stuff for my page to post. And I'm like, you should make some money off this. She's 13. She obviously never did. Yeah. So speaking of your sister, cause his sister did some like marketing for my Beersy page. I think what got me. So right now I can't post a picture on my Beersy Instagram. I like refresh and just instantly disappears. But I found because oh, th- it's unfollowing. I found a thread on Reddit um, of it happening to a shit ton of people, and it's it's just temporary. Typically, I still post videos into my story, but a lot of the people did say I was running, you know, like a follow bot or a like bot or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think that uh, I think that's what got me. But I can still post videos for now, and um, yeah, I think what will it, normally when in what those things will do is they'll un, like do the unfollow sprees and it probably just makes your account get into some queue. There's like hey, too much, a act- lot of activity yeah, too yeah. much and, and on top of me, dude, when I left to Island park on, on Thursday, I had 5,000 Instagram followers. I'm about to hit 30,000. So like, that's a pretty big boom for a page that just kind of came out of nowhere. That yeah. only has 20 posts on it. I mean, fuck. So. Yeah, so it could be it could be a lot of things. It could be I think it's a combination yeah. of both, but I can still post videos. I just can't post I just can't post pictures, which whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it will come back. Oh, yeah, I'm not a lot of people said that their shit ended up fixing itself and so I'm not too concerned about their bill. Um Hey there, Bill, hey there, Bill. Um so I don't have car still, you know. I yep. haven't had one for a couple weeks because I can pick the, you up for lunch, nigga. The Jeep the Jeep dealership gave me the classic everything that has to go, you know, into it and everything, you know. And I'm like, oh man, that seems like a lot of stuff, you know, yada yada yada. I'm just gonna get a second opinion just via like text message to Alita's friend's brother, who you know is a partner of a mechanic shop, like yeah. fixes our car all the time. Uh, so he's like, oh, that's interesting that you'd have to do both of these things and that he's like, can you have them send me this report? Took him a day to get this report that they supposedly already had written out for us, you know? So then that was like red flag one. Then he gets it and he's like, okay, yeah, I could see this, this, and this. Uh, He goes, you know, the price seems pretty high. We'll see what we can do like ordering wise. So then they went through and like itemized all the parts they would have to order. This is all for free. Like, you know, he's just helping us out. Like all the parts they'd have to order and yada, yada, yada. (laughs) He comes in at $600 for all the like pre-labor like all the parts everything for like if we had to do everything these guys were saying yeah what a jeep wanted thirty one hundred dollars that's what we call backdoor rape buddy and then they did the pulled the whole so then alita was like so they give us a loaner car then they dropped the okay well it's gonna be twenty nine dollars a day now for this car she's like no okay that's that i don't want that i'll come pick up the jeep and then they're like, oh, well, you can't, it's not safe to drive. No, safe the fuck fuel off. Line. So she's like, oh, okay. So then she starts texting Derek and he's just like, oh, it's, it's just a tactic that they're using to be like, it's dangerous, you know, whatever. No, take that shit. Well, so then we have Geico who gives us like a free tow that we've never used, you know? Yeah. So she calls and she's like, okay, I talked to Geico and they're going to come pick up the the Jeep. And the guy's like, oh, you can actually probably drive it to Seattle if you want. It's not that far. It will make it. What? She's like, well, I already have the Geico free tow. Oof. So they get the car in. This Sorry, this is a long story, but this has like been two weeks. Now they get the car in and then they run just a diagnostic just like the Jeep guys did. And they're like, uh, I mean – maybe half of this stuff makes sense like obviously like the fuel i did need to get uh they were, like replaced but yeah. they said that a lot of the stuff that they were saying like it didn't need to be done like today type stuff they're like but even if we did all of everything they're asking it's going to be way cheaper so i'm saving about 2100 dollars just by doing a little bit more but they probably get so many people with the whole like we can't oh, yeah 
Well, especially if they're a Jeep, dilemma. especially if they're a Jeep dealer, you would think you trusted them, but no, oh, man. Oh, that's who, that's who, that's who you would think would be like the most trusting person. Well, then Bryant, the guy that did my deck as a truck like Kyle's, he's telling me his story. He's put, taking his brand new, what's the, like $50,000 truck, $60,000 truck. More he's taking that, it in yeah. like he's taking it in and it's been like months worth worth of like maintenance where they'll just be like oh yeah sorry we'll get it we'll get it fixed for you yeah oh yeah sorry no they give you the ring around they'll they're your best friend when you buy it and then you want shit to get done that should be getting like his his sunroof like it's just like mine mine's fucked it doesn't even open and they keep telling him nothing's wrong with it then he tries to open it and it's jammed like mine's jammed closed but I guarantee you if I take it in there and try to open it, it'll just open fine and close. That's how it goes. It's always me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was, that's just like the unlucky. I just wish people were more honest. Like I get that it's, there's so, there's a, like a line of like running a business where you have to like pay your employees. But like that's just a markup to just try and take advantage of somebody. Yeah. I, everybody does it. It's fuck. It's the world, man. Why can't we all just be good people? Um. Oh, man. There's too many bad people. We can't compete. It is fucking loud out there. I need to get out of here. Where are we going to eat lunch? That's Am I coming to Snaggy for lunchies? Because I got to make I gotta make a video. I got to make a uh, Beersy video, the new iteration of my my ad. Yeah, I, I got a text message from you this morning. I don't understand that. So it wasn't a, it was a, um, it was a promotion one, right? I need to turn those off. Yeah, but I've never even bought anything. That's what I don't get. I don't really understand because one was I was just curious. I sent fifty text messages to the text said. To, was yours the promotion or abandoned cart? Mine says Dr. Pecker Beersy has arrived limited, so we are giving first priority. Check it out here, and then it's like link and it says to shop. Yeah, so basically it's a. Uh, I was messing around with the text message stuff. I only sent it to fifty people. Like what the fuck are that? So I got one first of all, and you got one, but. Um, I don't understand, so I'm not gonna. I actually disabled the, so that was just a campaign, but I don't really get it because it, it sent it to 50 people, and I don't know how they chose what 50 people because I got one, some other yeah, dude got, got one, but it's actually pretty interesting. So I, I figured out, and I don't know. It's a you, great tactic. Well, so text messaging is massive tactic. So basically, I figured out that. Uh, my whole cart recovery is fucked up because how like the sales funnels work is lots of people will abandon their cart, but you need to figure out what, cause they were almost there. So you try to, I think like industry standards are like 7%, like using tactics to recover that person. And I'm at like 3.9%. Well, in my tactics, I give people a discount code for like free shipping and stuff. Well, I figured out that I, if you already have a discount, so basically one beer Z is $12.99. I give people a 15% discount by ordering two. Okay, you following? Yeah. So it's an automatic discount. So they if they had two or more in their tag or in their in their cart, they can't put in another discount code since it's an automatic discount. So this whole time that I've been running um, abandoned cart emails, anybody Nobody could use those codes if they had two or more in that cart because it was an automatic discount, right? So in this particular one, now I've switched off of emails because fuck emails, and I've I'm testing this, I'm testing this text this test text message ones, right? Yep. So in my first set of abandoned cart checkout SMS campaigns, I sent 447 text messages, which cost about 10 bucks. Um, 98 people have clicked those and it's converted three orders. So that, I mean, you could say that's a, that's a great, that's a pretty good success. Especially for a low number for 98 pass. clicks and, and, and three orders converted for $73 in revenue pays for that 10 bucks. So I'm just going to keep doing it. See what happens. I know for Sami, So he has everybody for the game that signed up uh, with their phone number. It mm -hmm. is fucking crazy. So he sent like a thousand text messages and got like 800 clicks. Dang. Like link clicks, not just opens. Like, and that's an insane amount of, uh, you know, that's an insane rate for conversion. So the real question is, Colby, where are we going to eat? Uh, I'm in for whatever. Uh, uh, 
uh, how healthy are you being right now? Yeah, so, someone, uh, I saw you made some nice little steaks last night. Oh my God, dude. Mine was so rare though. Like it was totally rare. Steak is kind of like sushi. It's like, it's, it's good until you're full and you're like, Ugh. what, uh, how many steaks? What you made? How many steaks was that? Four. Oh, it was four steaks. For some reason, I thought it was like eight steaks. I was like, who the heck came over that you had eight steaks? Well, we steaks? had four steaks, and then we had short ribs. Oh. Safeway has like a super thick, or the, they don't always, but they had a super thick short rib, and it was fucking bonito. Yeah, the the rare, I always, when I go out and eat them, I'll, I'll always say medium rare, because sometimes it's like, ooh, sketchy. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like Sometimes that sushi bite, when you've had a little too much sushi, and you get real fishy you're like oh man that was fishy. yeah like you're like full and you're just but then some people are like but you went there to get sushi that is fish you don't understand like some if you're not even if you're cleansing your palate with the ginger like a piece of thick raw sushi is tough to gut down oh yeah for sure it's not natural that's what i've been saying dude that's what i'm telling people i've been saying to people do um that's what i've been saying but now i'm hungry now we're about 30 minutes into the podcast once we get I, th- I think we'll be back to full strength once we get once at least i get set up at the office because i can't i need to get the fuck out of here i'm like i need to get the fuck out like i, I feel like it's just weird because i feel like i'm at home supposed to be re- it's weird now like i'm supposed to be like relaxing at home but i'm in this fucking office working i don't know how i worked in this for so many years i need to get the fuck out yeah, I need to start putting my stuff in there. Maybe I'll be productive and again. Like, Dude, I'm telling you, you fucking a hundred per, hundred percent will be productive. I already said, let me uh, put my stuff up there in that podcast room. I, hey, if you show up every single day, you can do it. I'll even give you the first month free. Nice. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, I would be totally down because I, you know, another dude to bounce off ideas. Yada yada. yada. I don't give a fuck. I don't so, give a fuck about you. What thanks for listening. Be- thanks for watching. We're going to be back at uh, full staff. I, I This is my last podcast in this room. I just, it's not the same. Um, you can tell that your energy, because I talked to Kyle when he's in the other place, and he has a different vibe to him. This vibe we're getting right now is I'm definitely like low-key. I'm itching to get the fuck out of here, dude. Not, and it has nothing to do with the show. It's just like. Like I f- like this is work, but I'm I'm like in a it's got me in a different mindset. I ain't really feeling it. I need to be in the office. I'm paying for the office. I need to utilize it. I wonder if I brought you my computer. It's uh, if you could update it and pimp it out, and we could just use that as like the podcast computer. Oh, I could it easily. Just, it just, just needs to be plugged right in, right? Uh, well, I think it needs a driver update and stuff. I'm doing. Well, that's so yeah, weird. but it works though, right? 100%. 100%. What's so funny is, oh, this is my last thing, and I'll let us end it. What's so funny is, like, I'm, uh, we've talked about this before. I'm probably in like the top 5% when it comes to like computer knowledge, just based on how many people are in the world and like going to school for like IT and stuff. I turned on that PC and felt like an old man trying to be like, whoa, whoa, like, cool. Oh, how do I, I'm like Googling like how to update driver. <laughs> how to check this, like how to do that. And I'm just like, it's just crazy. Cause I've been, been on a Mac for seven, eight, nine years, yeah. whatever it's been to where it's like, I'm second nature on my Mac to where I could do all the hotkeys and whatnot. I do was on that. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna call Kyle. I'm done with this computer. No, I'll tell if I come pick you up, I'll snag that. And then I'll get it all yeah. updated and we can, we can he do it. Yeah. We can do a first one from, uh, from there but it's just too much stuff too many kids like i'm fucking I'm supposed to be i feel like i need to be relaxing it's just a different vibe it is, i feel like i felt like a month ago so um oh great he's gone i'm out fuck this show god damn it see you guys later bye Here's-